Now when we have our posts and comments ready in the database, we can start displaying them on the main page. But also, since we are working on the main page, we can also edit this title and this title. So let's get back to the code. First, let's edit the navigation, which is under the includes directory. And we are going to remove this href element and point it to root and change the title to Laravel block. Now let's change this clean block title to Laravel block as well. You may also notice that we have this clean blog here. So we want to change this title as well, but we also want to make it dynamic. So when user click on the post, we want this title to be the title of the post. So let's see how we can do that. We're going to yield a new element named title and as the second parameter, we are going to define the default title, which means this will be printed out if there is no title set for the post or any other page. So let's name it Laravel blog. And I also spotted this typo, so let's add that real quick. Great. Now with all set, let's go to the welcome view and let's see where we can iterate our posts. And as you can see, we can define for each post to print this div and hr element. So we're going to get rid of everything else. Great. Now let's get back to the public controller and here we can see that the index function is returning welcome view. So let's create a new variable named posts, which is equals to post model. Don't forget to import this post model. And we're simply going to use all function, which will get all of the posts from the database. Now we need to pass this variable to the view. Now inside view, we can create a for each loop of posts as post and we also need to end for each here. We are going to set the route later and we can get rid of this subtitle since we are not going to use it. Now inside the post title class we are going to print post title We want to print which user created that post, but in the post table, we only have user ID. Now, this is where, where relationships comes into place. Now, open your post model 
and create a new public function which is named user now inside that function we're going to return this belongs to app slash user and now what we can do is we can type post user name now inside this user we can access the user email name or even password but password is encrypted and you should never use that and here we also have this date where we want to print when this post has been created and that is created at column now let's get back to the main page and see if it works and as you can see we have post 1 post 2 and post 3 all of them are created by John Doe but we don't see the date when they are created and that is because we we used cedar but we didn't define created at or updated at columns so let's get back to the posts and let's manually set some dates you can also do this through the php my admin so let's ref refresh the page and we can now see the date and time as well this created at date time format is not that beautiful so let's use function date format to set date by our own preferences so first we want to display a full name of the month following by the number in the month as a day then we want to add a comma and we want to display the year so let's do the refresh and as you can see now it's telling March 2nd March 7th and March 10th I think that would be useful if we can display a number of comments for the post so that we can show the popularity of the post Now let's go to the post model and create a new function named comments. Inside this function, we'll be using has many relationship on the app slash comment now here we can call post comments and we are going to append the count function 
which is going to return a number of the comments. Great. Now this looks a little bit better. 